What's up, family? My name is Elijah Ami, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a grown folk channel. This is where we have heart to heart conversations and keep it real. Here on this channel, everybody matters, everybody's family. Here on this channel, we express love because at our core, we are love. I love you guys, and thank you for being with me on this beautiful journey called life. Peace. What's up, family? Man, I want to have a real heart to heart with you guys. Now what? Now what? Now what do we do now that we've discovered that we're the problem? You know what I mean? Because so often, you know, we we talk a lot about the problem ain't everybody else. You know what I mean? The problem is it's our perspective. It's how we see life. It's how we see situations. It's how we see our relationship, our failed experiences and all that other stuff. Now that we sit back and we understand reality for what it is, now that we understand life for what it really is, now what? Now what's the next step? Now what am I supposed to do? You know, now that I can sit back and understand that, dang, I got some issues that I haven't resolved. I have some trauma that I haven't dealt with. You know what I mean? I haven't healed from my broken relationships. I haven't healed from, you know, the sexual, the physical abuse, whatever the case may be. You know, now what? Now what am I supposed to do? You know, and once you get to that question, once you get to that process in life, family, man, now it begins your spiritual growth and development. Now begins the process of healing. You know what I mean? So often we think that, man, we could just ignore stuff and just push stuff up under the rug. And man, that makes everything OK because we're not really dwelling on it. We're not really thinking about it. You know what I mean? That makes the problem go away. But it doesn't. You know what I mean? You can't begin to heal. You can't begin to move forward until you acknowledge the fact that, man, there's some stuff that needs to be healed. There's some stuff that needs to be dealt with, you know, and the reality all your failed relationships wasn't everybody else. You know what I mean? Now that you get to that understanding, now that you're there, now you can sit back and say, well, dang, I got some toxic ways about myself. Man, I got some anger issues. I got some unresolved issues that keep creeping back up and just keep manifesting in my relationships. And I don't want them to, but man, they just keep popping up. Man, I got some insecurities that just keep showing up in my relationships man i keep doing the same stupid stuff over and over and over and i kept blaming everybody else but now i sit back and i realize man i think it might be me you know what i mean i might really be the problem now that you're there now what man first and foremost man give yourself a fucking hug you know what i mean real talk give yourself a hug because everybody ain't got to that point yet Everybody ain't mature enough to handle the fact that, man, they may be toxic. Everybody ain't mature enough. Everybody ain't grown to that level to understand that, damn, they might be the problem. And the reality is they are the problem. Everybody can acknowledge that. Everybody can be transparent and honest with themselves to acknowledge that truth, that they are the problem. How they see life is the problem. Their unresolved issues, their unresolved trauma and drama and everything, that's the problem. The problem isn't everybody else. And there's so many of us, we run around with this victim mentality, blaming our parents, blaming the way we was raised, blaming our first marriage, our second boyfriend, wife, girlfriend, all this. We blame everybody else, but we never sit back and honestly assess the situation and say, dang, what was my contribution to that problem what was my you know what did i add to that situation to make it what it is you know what i mean we it's easy for us to blame everybody else it's hard for us to be honest with ourselves and completely transparent and own up to our own shit now that we've done that man first and foremost give yourself a fucking hug and i'm dead ass serious about that you know what i mean because man that's the first step you got to own that shit you know, you have to own that. Now that you own it, man, sit back and understand, okay, damn, all right, I'm not perfect. Ain't nobody walking this planet perfect. I don't give a fuck what they talking. I don't give a damn what they preaching, what they teaching. Ain't not near motherfucker walking this planet perfect. Okay? Now that we got that understanding, ain't nobody perfect, man, relax. Understand that you ain't got to be perfect. You know what I mean? You ain't never gonna be perfect walking this planet. It is what it is. Stop trying to be perfect. You're never going to get there in this lifetime. You're never going to get there. 
You know what I mean? Stop striving for perfection. Because when you strive for perfection, all you do is set yourself up for failure. Because that's an unrealistic expectation. You didn't come here to be puffed on perfect you know what i mean you came here to deal with your shit and to grow from it that's what you came here to do that should be your focus your focus should not be on being perfect you, you know what i mean focus on dealing with your shit focus on resolving and healing your stuff that's how you grow you can't grow without that process you can't grow without those experiences you, you know what I mean? And it's a trip because so many of us were rushing the process. What am I talking about? Man, slow down and enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the ride. You, so, so, so many of us, you know, I used to live in the country. And, man, we fly through, these, um, through, the, through the streets, right? And through these country roads. And as we're flying through these country roads, we sit back and understand that, man, you know what? I miss so much flying through these roads. I see some stuff, but I miss a lot. You know what I mean? I miss more driving than I would riding a bike. You know, when I'm riding a bike, I see so much more going on. When I'm riding a bike, I hear so much more going on out in the woods than I would driving a car. If I'm running, I would see a lot more than I would riding a bike. If I'm walking, I would see a lot more and experience a lot more stuff than I would riding a bike or than I would running. Why? Because I'm sl going slower. So many of us, we're trying to run through life. We're trying to hurry up and get there and completely miss the experience, completely miss the fact that, man, we're missing out on so much. What does that got to do with us in, in our growth and development? Man, family, understand, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I'll say it again, at one day, every single one of us is gonna die, okay? Every one of us is gonna die. It's not about the death. It's about how you live your life, how you experience life, your journey. You, you, you know what I mean? Slow down. You know, um, my, my wife is from New York, born and raised, right? And man, people in New York have a habit of just walking fast. Everything is fast paced, you know what I mean? It's like, man, and I tell her when we be out walking, sometimes it's like, babe, slow down. Like, what the fuck? Why are you walking so fast? You know what I mean? It's like, man, I'm not trying to walk fast like that just to catch up with you. Slow down. Relax. We're going to get there. Why are y'all in such a rush? It's like, man, that's why y'all be so fucking stressed out out here. Slow down, you know? And, man, that's what we got to do in life. Slow the fuck down. Stop racing. Who the fuck are you racing against? You know what I mean? Who the fuck are you trying to help and be? You're missing the point. Enjoy the journey. You can't enjoy the journey fucking trying to hurry up and get there. You know what I mean? Slow down. You're missing out on so much. You're stressing yourself out. You know what I mean? You're stressing yourself out for what? For nothing. You know what I mean? Because you can't speed up the process. Sit back and just relax. And what I mean relax, deal with your shit. And as you deal with your shit, man, give yourself a hug. Learn to be kind to yourself. Learn to understand that you're not gonna be perfect. You're not perfect. That's the unrealistic expectation that your ego puts in place to keep you feeling less than, to keep you feeling like you're a failure, keep you feeling like you're a fuck up and everything else because your ego has you convinced that you gotta be perfect. And that's crazy. And I know a lot of religious people, they push that perfection shit. And man, that's not godly. God ain't never told us to be perfect. God didn't send us here to be perfect. He sent us here so we could deal with our fucking shit, heal from our shit, and keep pushing forward. And as we deal with our shit, as we heal, now we become a testimony. Now we become a witness. Now we become a beacon of hope, love, and light for other people going through that. So that they can make it out of that darkness. So man, we have to relax. You know what I mean? You have to relax and understand, man, it is what it is. It's just a process. It's a process. Slow down. Slow down. Be nice to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Understand that you're not perfect. You're not going to be perfect. Ain't nobody walking the planet perfect. You know what I mean? It's okay. You're going to make mistakes. That's all right. That's a part of life. 
grow from your mistakes. Own up to the fact that you make mistakes. Own that shit. That's a part of maturity. That's a part of your growth and development. You can't move beyond that until you own that shit. You know what I mean? You're going to keep going around in circles, keep making the same mistakes over and over, keep going through the same shit over and over and over until you learn the lessons. Learn the lessons so you can stop repeating the cycle. Learn the lessons so you can be elevated. Learn the lessons so that you can move forward. Man, relax though, you know what I mean? Relax, understand that everything's about divine timing. You know what I mean? Everything is about divine timing. You're gonna get there when you're supposed to get there. When you're supposed to get there, you'll get there. You can't get there any faster, you, you know what I mean? You're not perfect, you're never gonna be per perfect. You made a lot of mistakes and you're gonna make mistakes in the future. You don't have to keep making the same mistakes though. You know what I mean? And every mistake you make should teach you something else. Every mistake you make should help you get closer to your goal. Every mistake you make should push you further on your growth and development journey. Understanding that everything is always happening for a reason. Everything. And when you don't understand that, when you don't see the lesson in everything that you go through, man, you're gonna get stuck right there. Why? Until you learn the lesson. Until you learn the lesson. So what do you do now? Man, you sit back and you relax. You love on yourself. You pamper yourself. Be nice to yourself. Stop tearing yourself down. Stop calling yourself a fucking failure, a loser, a fuck up, and all these other stupid, toxic shit. You, you know what I mean? Stop saying you're gonna be single for the rest of your life. Stop saying you're gonna be broke for the rest of your life. Stop saying you're unloved and you're unwanted and all these other negative toxic shit. Stop tearing yourself down. Learn to appreciate the fact that you've been through a lot and you're still here. You're still striving to move forward. You're still striving to learn, to heal. And after you heal, man, you become a teacher. You naturally become a teacher to help others. You don't see it in the process. You don't understand why you're going through the shit that you're going through. But after you make it through, after you heal, then you can sit back and say, damn, that's why I had to go through that. Now, because you, you're gonna meet people that you didn't think you were gonna meet. You're gonna talk to people that are suicidal. You're gonna talk to people that are thinking about being doing some crazy shit why because man you've been there and now you can speak to them from experience people that are going through broken relationships and kids dog in the mouth and parents dog in the mouth and all this other crazy stuff that we go through you know what i mean after you heal from all of that after you grow from that man now you'll be able to encourage other people and inspire other people who's going through the exact same thing or going through similar things that's why you go through the stuff that you go through. That's why you have the failed relationships. So that you can learn from them. So that you can grow from them. So that you can help others. Now what? Man. Pat yourself on the back for still being here. Pat yourself on the back for saying, man, you know what? I did it. I finally learned the lesson. You know what I mean? Better late than never. But the trip is... It was in divine timing. You've gone through all that you've gone through so that you can learn the lesson. Don't beat yourself up because you've gone through this for five years. You've gone through this for 10 years. You've gone through the same crap for 15 or 20 years. Man, that's what it took for you to learn. Don't be hard on yourself. You've gained so much experience. You've gained so much knowledge along the way that you could not have gotten had you not gone through all that you've gone through. So appreciate the knowledge, appreciate the experiences, appreciate the wisdom that you've gained. Appreciate the situation, appreciate the experiences, you know what I mean? Regardless of how traumatic they were, they were all there to teach you some things, to give you some things to help you along in life, to give you tools that you didn't already have. 
So be kinder to yourself. Be more loving to yourself. Be more appreciative. Be more thankful. And then take these experiences, take these lessons, take this knowledge and wisdom and share it with others. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.